Welcome to At This Big Age. You guys might know me from reality TV, YouTube. Uh, your favorite cover model, philanthropist, entrepreneur, <laughs> and first time author. And right to the right of me, it is my Cody, my C block mate. Now, let me stop because I can't put that in the ear. <laughs> I'm joking. She is my everything, my better half. Introduce yourself. What's going on, y'all? It's the Navy, the princess of Harlem. I'm a performing artist, a mother, a wife, a friend, a daughter, all the things that we would love to be. All things great in this I world. Also do a lot of that uh, good things you give back. So I do. Uh, I'm a community activist. Talk about it. These are the important things that we can't even a mentor. Talk about it. To the me. young girls in Harlem. Love my babies. But yes, and welcome to At This Big A. Hey! So, because I'm a little spicy, and if you know me, you know I am all about the spices. <laughs> Can we start it off with a bang? And the bang is, what would you do at this big age? Okay. Guys, what would you do at this big age? And it starts off with, let me just shuffle these cards without looking. I promise you I didn't look. And shout out to uh, my producers. They done got some shit together. <laughs> Scandalous as they are. So, Danae Thanks. and you guys, what would you do at this big age? A friend of yours owes you a lot of money. <laughs> that sounds like my life already. And you run into them at a designer store. Wait, hold, hold the fuck up. Because how? A friend of mine owes me a lot of money, Danae. Right no now. friend. Me? I'm just saying, oh, okay. hypothetically speaking. Dang. A friend of mine owes me a lot of money and I run into them. At the Christian Dior, Gucci, Louis, Fendi, Prada, Dolce Gabbana, maybe a little bit of, you sparkle a little bit of, uh, what is my other brands that I like? Goyard. Or the fabric. Gucci. Yeah, it's Gucci. Everything, right? Okay. And, but you owe me some bread. What would you do at this big age? I'm gonna put my stuff on the counter next to theirs. Cause they must got it. You must have it. Cause how you here? So you gonna just pull up? You gonna pull up? Excuse me. Yes. And be like, hey Terry, hey, you yeah. must have it. Cause it's the money you owe me. You gotta have it. So let me put my stuff. No, just put it right here. And if you can't afford mine, then you shouldn't be getting yours. But what happens if they pay for theirs and don't pay for yours? Like, yo, Danae, what you doing? I'm going to have an attitude. But my mom always told me, don't lend what you can't afford to lose. But it is still like such a, in the back of my head, if I see you and you shopping and you owe me, I mean, I'm going to be, a, I'm going to have an attitude. And nobody wants to see me with an attitude. I'm a unicorn. So just imagine when unicorns get attitudes. Unicorns are pretty. I've never heard this. Exactly. So imagine, like, is, is we're going to have a problem. Uh, I would say that because um, I, I'm, I don't like the fact that I'm confrontational. Let's just put that out there. Confrontational to where I feel like I have to defend my money, my music, my men, and my meals. All of my M's do not use fuck with them. Meals, yeah. All the M's. Money, music, men, meals. Do Square not it. Don't mess so, with my so, own so in my head, I'm like, the minute you see me walk into that store and you owe me money, you is Please. running out of there. And be on. Because <laughs> you already know I'm going to embarrass you. I don't want to be this way. I'm going to therapy, guys. I promise you. Like, because I just feel like I'm healing. I haven't healed. So if you try to play me, I might. I might react to it because now, like, dog, like, I looked out for you. I lent you some money. Yeah. And now you are you shining. It's not like it hasn't happened to me before. And I haven't gone on the comments and said, yo, you owe me some money. Um, but if I walked into a store, I'm gr grabbing that shit you But like. also like you borrowed it. You didn't say let me have. So I'm expecting it back. Remy said it best. I don't care how much money I have, how much don't I wear. my pockets. If you borrow, give it back. Look, and that's all you didn't see. And, 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 and I'm the confrontational one. She, give me my sounds, money back. She sounded very aggressive. Like, give me my money back. All right. Well, that's what it is. I think yeah. we agree. Sure. No disagree, just agree. Give me my right. money back. If you borrow it, give it back. I don't want to hear it. Give it back. Okay, we're not at Don't go on no trips. We are not at that designer store together. Don't go to Hookah. I don't care if it's Fashion Nova and I, I don't see care. you at the store. I don't Give care. me my money back. Yeah, Fashion Nova hit me if she owe me money and she buys some shit. Give me my I'm stuff. I'm pulling up. 
put it in a large because that's my size. You're not wearing it. I'm putting it on. It's mine's now. We're sharing it. We both wearing it. Okay, it's over. All right. It's over. And I'm the I'm I'm look out for, see? You, hey, she's a <laughs> unicorn, but I'm the I'm a, uni I'm a unicorn, though. <laughs> I'm a unicorn. All just right, give me my money back. Go ahead, go ahead, Denise. Shit. Okay. Yeah. I want my money back. I'm I'm stuck at it. I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm irritated. But that's because she sits around and you wait for shit to happen. I knew. I, I see, this is why I can't. My digestive system lets me to be like, ah. Mm -hmm. Nigga, don't play with me. Get my shit back. I'm going to get like that one. No, no, don't, don't, don't. Because I'm going to therapy for it. Some things don't need you to react to it right away. With emotion, you're never going to get a solution. You need to sit down with it, sometimes live in it, and then be smart about it, guys. I do not condone being extra, uh, what do you call that, mm -hmm. uh, aggressive or just like, you know, so, yeah. Yeah. That. Now, speaking of condoning things, do you... All right. I'm afraid. Why no, I'm not afraid. You're about to talk to me. Why? Because I'm a unicorn. I, I know. I know. But is that salmon? Is that that color? That soft? You soft right now? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, what girly, I'm in my soft girl era. <laughs> I used to say that until I was it. <laughs> but do you condone infidelity? Like for yourself what, or what your you friends? Infidelity? Infidelity. You make it sound cute or whatever. It's like you want me to forgive the man. Or if you want to be forgiven, like, or if it's like a friend going through it, like, okay, just period. So you're asking me for to yourself, in general, for your friend, for your spouse, your mate. Ah, uh, shit. Um, wow. Mm -hmm. I I need you to break the the question down because the answers are different for every. Okay, so if you're in a relationship uh -huh. and your person cheat cheats on you. Are you giving them a second chance? Uh, I will say that um, no matter what I say right now, here are people on the record. I feel like I'm in court. Wait um, a minute. Let me put my seatbelt on before you start talking because that's what I'm about to get. Bitch, you got a helmet? Yeah. Be jing down. Go ahead. <laughs> they got Strap it on. I feel like you're about to go crazy. Strap on, bitch. Go ahead. No, I feel like um, no matter what I say right now on the record, it doesn't matter until you go through the, the situation. Mm -hmm. People are really big on judging these situations and saying, I would, I would, I could, I should, or I was about, or God, God forbid it happens. And if you ever, mm -hmm. um, and you don't know till you're in it. So I never like to give these type because you just don't know. Um, in my past, have I forgiven infidelity early on? Not at this big age, but early on, mm -hmm. I have. I think um, it was never in my face, but you know, uh, guys are sloppy or maybe guys that don't care or just people got busted in my past. And have I been cheated on? I believe I have. Holly Berry has. J-Lo, t -Hiri. I'm in good company, we all. I mean, it's really not about how bad you are. It's about the person. A lot of times when men cheat on you, it's not about you, it's about how the way they feel. Mm -hmm. uh, it has a lot to do with them. Um, but yes, or something that's lacking in a relationship. Uh, so have I forgiven it? Yes. At this big age, though, mm. would I forgive it? I don't believe I would. Really? And I'm going to say believe because you just never know again. Um, I'm going through a breakup as we speak. Uh, I peeled myself out of bed to be here. Um, and my problem with, the, with my ex wasn't infidelity. Uh, as well as you mentioned, if I cheated, have I cheated? Absolutely. And then that goes to if once a cheater, always a cheater. I don't believe that is true. I don't think that's right. true either. Because so, every relationship is different. Right. So in my 20s, have I cheated? Yes. Will I cheat today? Um, no. I, I just wouldn't be with you. I wouldn't marry you. I don't believe in men that marry and, and, and then cheat. It's like stupid. So um, I say that to say that would I forgive it today at this big age? Um. No, I, I wouldn't forgive it. I don't I don't think I would. But tune in, guys. I'm not married <laughs> and I'm single. So I'm married. I can't. So so you tell me as a as a person that's married and you've been married for how long? OK, so technically two years, but in real life, one year. So we had two weddings. So we got married once and then like we tried to elope and then it got crashed. So that was like the first wedding. But then we had the big wedding. So just give me. Okay. How many? So, <laughs> I used to be the one, like, if he did it, I would never take him back. That's it's why I don't over. Stop. But then when you start thinking about all the time invested, what was the reason? What was the disconnect? Can we fix it? Is it something that's workable? 
you start to weigh in all those things and you're like, that was a minor setback for a major comeback. Like, I think we're going to be great, you know? Not saying he cheated. Well, I guess it was little, little things. Little but, things. Right. Like, it's a thing, though. Another thing is, can we definitely, because y'all talk about cheating, right? You just asked me a question. Uh-huh. Like, everybody's definition of cheating the, is so the, oh, Cheating and period. Like, everything is relative. Mm-hmm. Um. I'm a firm believer that cheating to me, even if you're having a text conversation or you are um, having thoughts about another woman while you're with me, or to me, cheating is all the way around, not just physical. It's emotional. It's spiritual. It's, it's, it's. Next thing? If you're flirting with someone, you're well, opening Pandora's, what is your opening Pandora's box when you have a whole woman at home? That is cheating to me. Yes. Cause you're now tying yourself to someone, not physically, but you're, creating something that might brew into something else. So you're playing around. You're going to get got. I'm going to pledge them to see. You, yeah, you can go fuck somebody and wash your vagina with, with soap and water. Well, the man can wash their penis with soap and water. And it, can, it, it means nothing, uh-huh. right? Because they were physical, right? Mm-hmm. But then if you're connecting here, that's like a whole nother relationship. Yeah, it's really So that's a key. Like, you don't even have to fuck somebody at first. But the minute, the fact that you're getting into somebody's favorite color, how many siblings they have, Where's your favorite place to eat? You're meeting here and there. You're texting. You're building with someone. And you have someone that you're building at home. You've been cheated. You don't have to fuck them. So then to me. So you're saying no. It's a no for you. No, I'm just saying that to me, cheating means, to me, when you're cheating, it doesn't always have to be physical. It can right. be anything. And and that it, in, uh, in other words, you cheated. He cheated. Mm-hmm. And we cheat. Okay, that's fine. But what I'm saying is that it's up to y'all to say, okay, can we move past this? Like you said, the time invested. Right. And 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 people are people make mistakes and they're human too. So yes. that's why I can never say I won't. I would. I said maybe I won't. I believe. Right. right, right, right. Because you have to be in those shoes to be able to answer that question. You gotta be in the position you got. And I think people sometimes react. Out of emotion. Out of emotion and they don't. Hurt. Which is very, like, valid because, I mean, naturally we're going to react. But you have to take the emotion out of it almost and the hurt out of it and think about the foundation. That's What's happening at home? Yes. And like, why? Is this something that can be rebuilt? I think it's so important. Because we just run, run, run. We leave, leave, leave without thinking about, like, because you can leave. And this is something my dad told me. At my, my wedding, like in his speech, he's like, yeah, that girl going to look good. That guy going to look good. But you know the asshole you got at home. Right. You don't know this asshole that's out here in the street. And I was like, Ooh. everybody was like, speak on it, preach. That's, I get it's that. It's so true. I get that. But when and I has been married for it, he's like, I can't tell you what That's to a do. different generation. It's though. only my experience. And now the assholes are way different. Yeah, but that's a different what? generation. Yeah, different. That's, but but the assholes that come after me are far different. But that's a different generation because when I broke up with my ex, the one ex that everybody knows to seem to know about, the only man that's in the world I've been with, he said to me before I was leaving, he said, "So you rather go out there and um, take a chance than to know what you have at home?" And I said, "Absolutely, motherfucking lootly. And I took that chance. Because you That's knew it, what you were dealing with. Because you to me, I rather take I I to me at that time, the person I had at home was so to- so bad, so toxic. I rather t- yes, yes. You were about to fucking like end me fucking spiritually, physically, you've done the most. Um, you're super hurt. Like I went through so much with that guy, but he tried to stop me by saying, So you rather go take a chance right, than stay right. with this asshole at home. And I looked at him, I said, every day of my life. Yeah. So I that took that chance. Sense. So it all depends on. Because you knew the right. asshole you had at home. I, that, versus yeah. the assholes that right. was So I, re- I took a chance. Yeah. And guess what? I, I, every day of my life, it was the best decision I made was to leave that person. I, and I mean, I think it works both ways. Like just knowing who you have and like. Yeah. No, absolutely. That's why that's why when people are really big to judge situations and marriages, once one I say do not get involved in 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 relationship stuff because you get involved and then come to find out they get back together and you 
they leave you with all the shit and then next thing you know you're you know what i mean like this doesn't make any sense right two you can't never judge on anybody's relationship because only those two people know what they go through at home and only you know what your heart can take because mm -hmm. i went back to some bullshit the world was laughing at me like are you gonna go and i went back and then only i do when it was time to go right and right, i right. I laugh. so to me it's all about the people the person and and um, what their heart could take and what they're willing to tolerate. So what advice would you give a friend who is <laughs> in a situation? Bitch, put them Nikes on and run. I'm just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> hey, that... <laughs> put them Nikes on and fuck the loses. But what if it's, if it's she's in the situation she wants to stay? Uh -huh. And like you said, you're not in the situation. But if her person is cheating uh -huh. and she wants to stay but she feels conflicted, what is your advice to that person? Uh, to your friend? My advice is what I just said. Okay. Only you know. I get, I, so first of all, what I tell my friends, because it, it happens more than you think. Mm -hmm. um, we're living in a different age and time. I think the challenge is faithfulness. Like, can anybody be faithful nowadays? Is the fundamentals of marriages. Like, is it, is it, is it, are we building strong? We are. There's, it's all... It's kind of like a dinosaur. Like, it doesn't even matter. Marriages, anything, the fundamentals of relationships, um, the trueness of love, like, it seems to be something that's really fading. So it's hard. The challenge is, can anybody be faithful nowadays? I don't want to say that they're not faithful men. I don't want to say I don't believe in a faithful. I don't want to say that because I don't, I still want to believe in, you know, love. I want you to believe in love. Me too. So, so I say that to say that what I tell my friends, because it happens, is, um, I'm here to support you. Mm -hmm. I mean, whatever you decide. If you decide to marry this man tomorrow, I'll be by your side. I think that's the best advice ever. If you don't, then I'll still be by your side. Right. Only you know what your heart can deal with and tolerate and whenever you're done with. And then I hate to be that person that brings in my experiences because this is about you, not me. But the only way I can explain to you that um, you have to go through your trials and tribulations and experiences and life and lessons is by telling you what I've been through. Right. And I stuck around sometimes and sometimes I didn't. And um, God has a reason for everything. Mm -hmm. So I can't tell you what to do. I can only say that I support whatever decision you make. I don't have to fuck with him. Right, right, right. But for the most part, I look at him and clear my nose and be like, you already know I know what you're up to. Right. But if she's fucking with you, who am I to tell you what you should and shouldn't right. do? Yeah, because all you can do there is be there to pick up the pieces if it don't work. Yeah. And, it, and have it, your pom-poms if it do. Facts. That's it. Period. Sure, beyond. All right. I'm decided. Yeah, outside. I love that. And that's all I could do. That's great advice. That's what I would want somebody to do for me. Mm -hmm. I, I'm a love like shit. I'm going through it right now. And my friends is like, you better not talk to him. And they'd be like, where were you yesterday with him? And they'd be like, I mean, so what? I love who I love. And then I'm going to stop loving when I feel like it. When you respect it. Because at really? this big age, I'm going to do what I want. You have to <laughs> because we only get one life and you right. have to live it for yourself. You right. can't live it for anybody. You have to make the choices and the decisions and be and anyone. Be non-judgmental. You have to. Like, as have long as to. he's not hurting you. I mean, and physically, in terms of where I got to go get you in the hospital, like I'm not. Yeah. Because if you go back to that, you better. Yeah. I'm cool on that. I'm <laughs> cool on that. All right. So. <laughs> Shit. Um, so have you ever cheated, Danae? And how do you feel about, you know, what was that experience like? I'm talking about you're married now. So let's go back if you're not uncomfortable talking about pre-marriage. I mean, I was I was a terrible cheater, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You got caught? It was terrible. Like, I was really bad at it, but I cheated a lot. Okay. I had a schedule of cheating. <laughs> what does that mean? Like, I had a list. Okay. Nine days, pick Monday, up, yeah. Tuesday, uh -huh. Wednesday. But but you weren't committed to anyone. I was. I had a boyfriend. Oh, okay. So my boyfriend was seven days. But then I had like this guy Monday, Tuesday, someone Wednesday. And Thursday. this was like early on in your 20s. This was early you on in time. my 20s. Like <laughs> it was the time to do it. But I wanted to be with one person. But I also wanted to experience life and figure out what it was I liked. Because I think in your 20s, that's when you're figuring things out. I was you know? busy thinking everybody was supposed to be faithful your whole life. Your whole life? I'm such an idiot. Like, I shouldn't have had a boyfriend. I should have put him on the list as well. Yeah. But I really liked him. I'm like, I don't want to lose you. But I was also... He was your favorite out of all. Out of so you had a start in five. I did. It was really <laughs> fabulous. But I was really bad. So I always got caught. But I never... So you hurt this boy. 
He was not hurt also. Oh, because he was doing him? I don't think he was doing him. It's like, what you mean he wasn't hurt? I Sweet think he, like-, like, understood that I was a young woman and I was trying to figure out, like, what it was I liked, what it was I needed, what the wants, the needs. But you were also traveling early as well. I was traveling. I was meeting a bunch of people. I was in all these cities. So some things were like, hey, let's grab food in this city. Oh, I got here. holes. I Woo! got holes in different area codes. Area. Area codes. I love holes. But no, but that was early. Well, you got it out the way and then you got married and now you act right. I so you go. Played, and now I be thinking, dang, I was outside. We don't even know it. But I mean, that's what I you're supposed outside. to do early. This is why my advice to like my teenage friends, I'm um, like, yo, y'all just chill, like make money and work hard. So what? By the time you get at this big age, you don't have to work as hard. You get the guys, have fun, wrap it up, be safe, but enjoy. Because how do you know exactly who? who that person's supposed to be unless you try a lot of different flavors. You gotta know what you like. Yes. I be not questioning people that give with one person and that's yeah. just who they're Sometimes with. Sometimes that's just your face. It's beautiful. No, if you find that, and that but happens I'm rare, awesome. but it happens. How? No, I wish. I, well, I was supposed to be that person. I wanted to always be that person. You did. So, yes. Yeah, so I have this box at home. It's a little box. And I have my, um, oh my God, I looked at the date. I have Heidi Klum when she first had her first baby. Heidi Klum is like, you know, the uh, fucking Victoria's Secret angel. And like, she's a big supermodel. And she had this Daily News article where she had what she put on her belly not to have stretch marks. That was 2000 and I don't know, nine, maybe. I have my my wedding dress from 2008 from the Daily News. Like I found it in InStyle magazine. I wasn't even in fucking high school. So my my life in my head, I was supposed to be, I'm a wife. I was born a wife. Sounds crazy, right? No, <laughs> she turned so into nice. a single bitch in her forties at a Which, big age. But <laughs> I didn't want to say a hoe. <laughs> it's the dance but, for me. So no, literally, I have, um, I have. Society has embedded or had because, um, <laughs> honey, as a young kid, I believed in the white picket fence mm-hmm. and that um, the marriage and the children and the dog. Um, and all the things that a young lady, um, that the, the virginity. So I lost my virginity to someone I was engaged to early. Um, I want my hymen back. Send it back. Uh, but um, yes, I thought I would marry him and that was it. And that was my end all be all. And I was going to graduate college and we were going to live um, uh, happy ever after. Um, and um, so what happened? Cause now I'm sad. Somebody put the crash fucking cars <laughs> out. Um, this shit went to shit. What do you mean? First of all, he was a drug dealer. Oh, that wasn't part of my story. <laughs> second hey. of all, yes. Second of all, he got somebody pregnant after being with him for like four years. I find out that he got somebody else pregnant, not me. He took my virginity. Third of all, I graduated from criminal justice and I'm on TV. And nothing that I thought was supposed to happen happened because God has a funny fucking sense of humor. Yes, no matter what plans I had, I used to want to be famous when I was a child and I used to have these visions and then I did whatever society taught me or told me I should have did and that's go to school or marry. Eh, eh, eh. And then God was like, school, school, this is what you're doing. And so I broke up with him. Um, he has three kids, I think. I don't remember. I know his family still follows me. And here I am. And it was the best thing that ever happened to me. Thank you for breaking my heart. To hearing. What? How did you feel about the, the baby mama? Oh, they, they they wouldn't come pick up the baby because um his sister called me about it. And I was in that house with that baby that looked just like him. And let me tell you something, honey. Wait, so you were still with him even though he had the baby? No, I found out I was still with him that he had a baby. Oh. And the baby happened to be in the mama's house. So, okay. So I get this call one day. I remember what I had on. I had this little cotton t-shirt because, you know, I thought I was a little J-Lo before J-Lo even was popping. And I had these little Levi's and I had these little cloths on and I was popping and my hair was slicked back because I used to wear ballerina buttons. And I get this call from his sister and his sister says, hey, um, mommy doesn't want to tell you, but, and I was like, but you need to come here now. So I pull up to 231st Street where he used to live. I'm not going to say his name. Um. And I pull up and he opened a door and I walk into his room because he was still living with his mama, but he was a whole drug dealer making money. And I pull up and there's this little 
beautiful chocolate baby looking just like my boyfriend. Dead hair, but she, he was very yellow toned. He was like light skin and she was very chocolate. And the baby was, the baby did like this to me. She wanted me to carry her. And oh my God, my life fucking, I couldn't breathe. I knew that was his child. And then they said, we to the living room. They was like, the mom's supposed to pick up the baby. He said, well, but nobody's coming because they think you're going to kill everybody. Oh, my God. <laughs> they were so afraid. I mean, they knew it was going to be heartbroken. And, all, and I remember I felt like, I. it was just like I had, like, I, I couldn't even breathe. I couldn't think. I remember I turned, like, I wanted to run, but I couldn't. I just felt like, you know, like, run, like a chick without a head, like that saying. Like, I felt mm -hmm. like my whole life had just stopped. Yeah. I'm fucking freshman year in college. I have a three- 0.5 carat ring. I'm supposed to marry this man that took my virginity, and there's this baby that's almost one looking at me saying, Carry me. Oh and it's not gosh. my child. Yes. So, how did you deal with the baby mama? They never came. Oh, never seen her. No, they, well, I found out about her. Right. Um, I, uh, eventually I left because, I mean, you know, everybody was like super sad. His mom and sisters, everybody just wanted to tell me because he wouldn't have the nerve to tell me. And so I left. And, you know, there's that saying, once a good girl turns bad, she's gone forever. I'm gone forever. forever. I got to live with the fact I did you wrong forever. Jay-Z said that. And that night, and, I had, and that night, I had this friend of mine who was um, working with the NBA. And she happened to call me and say, Tahiri, I have these people coming in town we have this party with these NBA players and I was so numb and I didn't care I just I stood in that party I'm not gonna tell you what player it was that took me to breakfast that morning like yo let's go to breakfast let's hang out and I just didn't say two words I was just looking at every all these tall men like oh, okay this is what it's all oh. and I was just so tight about life and that was a beginning of me getting introduced to a different type of world um did that change your perspective like on love on, i was like, numb for a long time i think i was just i went on my i would call it the rihanna the umbrella like eh, eh. <laughs> but not we were from using, but, <laughs> i was just i was just trying to um ah my it was i was like 20 i i was so hard i, I didn't look back and then I found out that she had had three kids from three other different men that she was she wasn't educated i'm not judging I had just finished graduating. Um, I found out that, um, you know, sometimes you can be the complete package, but be mailed to the wrong address. Mm. Um, and that he wasn't the man for me, but I was heartbroken for a long time. And then I just, you know, I started to build and connect and work. And um, I started liking taller men. <laughs> <laughs> so... Oh, okay. angle men too at that. Because I'm like, no, we're not even going to jail. Are you cheating? <laughs> Damn. But yeah, but no, honestly, I was heartbroken. That was my first heartbreak. Um, so do you blame the other woman when if I the other woman when your person cheats? If I would have immature you think that it's about them, but uh -huh. she owed me nothing. Right. She probably didn't even know that I existed, but I, I doubt that. But like. I, the only thing I fear about women that are okay with being side pieces is some side pieces that are okay being side pieces. Mm. Those are the ones that need to get fucked up because you know what time it is. But the only person that really owes you something is the man that you are the woman or the man and whoever your significant other is. Everybody else is, it, it, it's not even their fault. Like the person that's supposed to respect you is the person you're in a relationship with. Mm -hmm. However, when I see these situations now and a lot of my friends and a lot of people go through these things, I hate the side bitch that is okay with being a side bitch. The side bitch that knows all about you. You know nothing about her, but she's okay. That's the bitch yeah. that I don't like. Because that's that bitch that needs to, you know what I mean? Like, like, who, like who raised you? Do you have some morals? Some, some. Those are the morals. Yeah, and exactly. I don't, I don't understand that. But there's some women that are okay with that, and and those are the ones that I don't understand. They so tried. I didn't fuck her up. I didn't see her. I could have did my homework, my due diligence to find out who this baby mama is. It didn't matter. There was a child. They had a child. She had other children. And he was okay with that. That's what he chose. And so I had to step up and step out. Hi. And so I did. And thanks so for that. So you on your Nikes and you ran up out in bags. I was, I, I didn't run. I cried and ran. I you was, was so crying. Hurt. I was a fucking But you let him see you cry? You cried at home. No, I, no, I'm very much expressive. You won't feel me. I'm not crying in front of you. I'm gonna cry at home. I'm not chasing a man today at this big age, but 
I, I'm very much very vocal about what I'm feeling. And I'm not embarrassed. I'm a grown woman. If I like you, I like you. If, I, if you hurt me, you hurt me. If like, I'm very much, I'm not prideful. There, in love, there is no pride, babe. Speak. I'm telling you, when you fuck with somebody, you let it be known. Like, this is what it is. I'm grown. That's that young shit. Yeah, but I'm not crying in front of you because you I'm ain't about to tell everybody. your friends. Hey, look, baby mama didn't come get she that baby. Left. The baby was sitting there like this and I was like, where's she at? Nobody could say nothing. Like, like, like this baby gonna stay here. I don't want you to not care about you. I'm gonna just leave. I don't want you but to that's feel bad. Not, but that's not And I'm not crying. And and some people probably deserve that. Again, yes. that's pride. But me at this big age, I am who I am and I'm gonna stick that. to me and I'm a, and I and I don't care. Like I just went through a situation in front of everybody. And I was and I screamed at him and I was like, I would never do that to you. Today, this was like uh, three weeks ago. Yes, because I love you. It's a choice. Love is a choice. It is. So I don't give a fuck what nobody says. 20-year-old Tahiri probably would have never cried. 20-year-old Tahiri, you know what? Man, hey, Tahiri, me such and such. I shake his head. I was just with the nigga last night, but fuck you. You want to play? Let's play. That's that shit you, you got time for today? Yeah. Wait a minute now. My vagina. My vagina. <laughs> oh, hate on her. <laughs> hey, Michelle. Your vagina took My vagina, vagina said to hate on her. That bitch. Anyway, no, seriously, at this big age, I'm going to let you know what time it is. Yes. Today I love like, you. Why would you do this to me? And then if it doesn't work, I'm out. I, I. Did you go back to your man from three weeks ago? No. Not, no, not no more. No, I can't. I can't. Because there's, 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 a, there's a difference. In, three uh, weeks ago? No, it's a disrespect. Oh. Um. Um, no, um, would I go back to him? Uh, I keep saying I'm, I'm big on not giving you, like, like let, let's keep it real. We're human. Um, it's the disrespect is the is the thing is it's deeper than just it's deeper than what happened three weeks ago okay have you know that? it's deeper than that maybe another day we'll get into you know why some things are not acceptable mm -hmm. you know that yeah. that the, 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 it's you know it has a lot to do with abuse people think the physical abuse let's talk about verbal abuse there's a lot of things that you know at this big age you won't tolerate yeah for sure yeah. I, i'm not so shit so so yeah so i'm really big on letting you know where i stand and how i feel about you and i don't give a fuck you could call me an idiot if i love you nigga i love you and that's it i love that you love hard that's what that is yes and i hate you for that you do what? I'm, I'm just not playing games. I'm so I don't want to pretend you don't love somebody. I'm not pretending. I'm not going to let you know. I'm not going to. You know mm -hmm. what? You ain't going to know. I'm big on that too. I'm going to unsuck that dick in public. I don't know. Him. Wait a minute now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you're not with somebody. You know you I pretend. I unsuck the dick. Well, when when you was with him on Tuesday and then they come like to hear me, we such and such. You be like, hey, how are you? And you be like, you don't know me? <laughs> Copy. Okay, I'm on the bus. Let's just wait a minute now. Let's go. <laughs> what I'm like, saying is that I'm really big on expressing myself. Yes. Like, if I fuck with you, I fuck with you. There's no yes. point. You are on some, I, you should know that I care. Why would the people? Nah, I'm not doing that. You're not letting people know her, you, uh, uh, the, your man? So how, your husband, for instance, now that you're married. You oh, my husband, you say he playing prideful? He knows. No, sometimes. See? He knows. No. You know? Is, is that about me? Leave it in the comments if you know. It's not about, bat them lashes, bitch. It's not about knowing. How about sometimes we still need those affirmations? Yes, I do. I affirm him. What is, what are but his, But if you get on my like, nerves. Okay. No. Okay. I'm not playing with you. Well, I mean, I agree that you yeah. shouldn't play with him. And I'm not. I'll be crying in public. Because I got on lashes and I'm not crying off my I've lashes. cried in public. Now I've, I've spazzed in public. Spaz, yes. Cause all day. Okay, yeah, I'm okay, might cause, swear up because you're and cause not. I'm healing. Finish. I'm not healed. I'm, I'm doing. Play with me. I might do this. Oh. But I don't really want to fight. Foxy. I just want to um, show my little. You want to show me too. Me too. Me too. Because I'm a dancer. Yeah. And that's, you know, boxers be dancing. That's what I'm going to do. She wants to always make it sound so cute or whatever. Yeah. Because I'm a unicorn. <laughs> Um, you hear that? Why I keep I'm gonna keep it hard. I love you. Move. I'm going. <laughs> you wanna play a game? Well, I mean, I love your games. You do? I think they're fun. I think I got something. I'm not even scared of you no more. Bad. I think I got something in my Barney bag. Oh, I thought your butt. Yeah, a Barney bag. You know you got kids when you my say no Barney, Barney bag. bag. What the fuck is a Barney bag? This. <laughs> so we're gonna play a game. Okay. Call C or Nah. C or Nah. Let's see. Yes. C means yes. No, and na means no. Yeah. There's no in between. Because you Latina. 
Gracias. And I'm Nancy again. Para que sepas. I'm whatever she said. Tato. Okay, <laughs> let me shuffle my card. But you're looking at them, you're cheating. I'm not, I can't even really see. Oh, the ella es one. una chiriona, okay? Because now she's trying to look crazy. Not just say you're a cheater. Uh, I'm not talking about my cold Escucha day, but... mi nombre. Uh, what is it? Dene. <laughs> Dene, you stupid. See or nah? Yes. You will let Usher serenade you at his concert. What? I'm see. So, see, but I'm, go, I'm going mean, crazy. Right now. Yes. I'm not sitting on my man's lap. Oh, we got a man. Wait. Usher, I'm coming through. See or nah? Your significant other should have the code to your phone. Uh. There, you answer it for yourself. Go ahead. I was answering. No answer. No. Nah. Um, I don't have to have one. I don't, I don't. And then my boyfriend usually used to be next to me and I just click it and it's easy. So I don't care if you got it because I have nothing to hide. I don't care. I'm going to have a code, but if you want it, I'm going to give it to you. Just be aware. Everything you read is not as supposed to be read. That, mind your business. Because yes, certain things you might get out of context. Right. So you shouldn't. But if you want it, then <laughs> race yourself, fool. You just don't act. You don't need to know what's going on in here, child. That's Everything I'm texting you, you know what is it. You want it, it is. Would you ever want it? Okay. I don't need it. Because who you texting and what you and your friends talk about in the group chat? Because that's where I'm going. I don't want to see what you texting Barbara and Shirley. I don't want to read that. That's their names? Whoever it is. Okay. Natasha, Sabrina. I don't want to read that. I don't want to read what's in the group chat. Well, I'm pulling up. Play with me if you want to. I want to read what's in the group chat. What you, what y'all talking about? And I don't want to know what they're talking about in the group chat, but that's the conversation. I want to see emails. Fuck your phone. Fuck your your phone, you heard? Email. No, I'm joking. See or nah, long distance relationships can be worthwhile. Well, my whole life has been long distance, period. So see, um, at this big age, though, I think they're becoming a little bit um, of uh, my last long distance relationship was about a year ago, a year and a half ago, maybe two. Um, and I remember pulling my suitcase on the 11th month because every month I would be in London for two weeks. And I remember saying, if I pull this motherfucking suitcase one more time, he got me fucked. Like, I was ready to fucking quit it. It was just, it's becoming, it became a job. Mm-hmm. Um, at this big age, I want something less. Um, I feel like we need to work different. I Maybe I was just doing a lot of the work myself and he wasn't because he couldn't. So um, we need to find balance if we're going to do long distance. But it's a lot of work. But yes, because I this is all I know. My, my boyfriends have all been out of town except for the last one. See? See? Yeah, me. We see. see. <laughs> Come on, London friends. See, London nah. I shouldn't have read this first, but I'm a yeah. Your man's mother should ride shotgun over you. Oh, yo, I've been through every one of these situations. I haven't even told you. How do y'all know? Um, over me. Um, I volunteer that seat all the time. But not you volunteering. And yes. that's when she got me fucked up. Okay. She was so not, this, she, yeah, nah. like, not you volunteering. No, so I, so no, so I remember volunteering for this lady and she walked down like, <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> and I got right back in. But, um, uh, I, I don't, I mean, that's his mom. I'm not, it's not a competition. Um, I don't like mothers that like want to be their son's girls. And that's what I don't understand. Like lady, stay in your lane. So it's not about me. Like, I'm a volunteer to you. If you got kids, like, I'm cool with that. I know what my place holds in your heart. But these moms, though, they be weird. So you think he should give the mother the seat? Not I, you volunteering? Uh, I've seat never. or no? Nah? Um, I've seat never had a. No, no, nah. no. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had a man do that. But if he did, I'm going to look at him crazy. Don't be dropping these cards. To I'm you. sorry. That shit got me. I just had trauma. Because I, I remember giving the seat away. And that lady came out and looked at me crazy. <laughs> See or not, Daniel. No, you don't answer that because you got a husband. If you, if, if, y'all hey, um, mom can't I try this. this. No, 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 no. Scoot, Let's keep scoot. Don't scoot, scoot. scoot. Are you doing this shit? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to like, um. <laughs> no, no robot dancing. He's trying to. No, but, but how do you feel about that? Why am I the only one answering? I'm answering the ones I want to. <laughs> That's not fair. Nah. Nah, right? Nah. Get in the back. <laughs> I love you dearly. I love that. get in the back. I volunteer. I'll be like, oh, your mom's coming down. And I'll be like this in the back. Or <laughs> I'm not going. I'm not, I, I get in the back. And I don't mind. And, and, and I've had niggas tell me not sit right here. I can stay home. No, I've had, look, I had. Give her to see. <laughs> love my mother-in-law dearly. Y'all no, will. I've had men 
like be like, nah, Tahiri, where you going? I'm like, nah, but your mom is coming. And they be like, nah, stay right here. I'm like, and all the right. Pool. Okay. I mean, I guess don't you want to spend time with your grandson? You don't need to be in the front. You can't Someone talk to him. Someone's aware. Again, I've had been telling you, where are you going? I'm going to tear the seat, but no. Then and you want to give him snacks. You bought apples and stuff. You slice stuff. Sit like, back. Send it back, Grammy. Okay, so you're not. Snowfall is better than power. All right. I'm going to give a naw. For me. So I tapped out of Snowfall like a season ago, and I'm into power heavy now. So it depends on what you're asking. You're asking at this big age. <laughs> Just give it a no. 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 I tapped out of Snowfall episode one. Not me. Season one. I was in it. I was. I in never it. made it. I was in it to win it. And I started. I almost in married again in my dreams. dreams. So it was already. I was very Aegis in my dreams before. It, it, they didn't know me. What 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 what, what um what, what what my ex husband said because you know I was uh, he was my little celebrity crush. Um, uh, uh, what's his name? Amari. No, Grandpa. Um, Grandpa. Oh my God. From Snowfall? No, when what Idris was like talking about loving um the actor dude and the actor dude didn't know who he was on camera. Um uh, Denzel. So oh. I was I was in it to win it once I was like, all right, Denzel was said Denzel can get it. Yeah, Denzel was my celebrity crush. Love that. And then and then here comes Idris and I'm like, and you don't know who Denzel don't know. And I was like, oh, you might know. And then came power. And I was like, dang, I watched power all the way to the end. I can't wait to keep watching. I'm so invested mm. in mm. all of them. Forests, ghosts, Canaan. Ghosts is all of them. Ghosts is done. Uh, oh, Ghosts powerful too. Okay, no, I'm to know with, 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 with Tariq and Woody and them. Yeah. yeah. Like, and Kane. Me too. So I was Woody. See or Nam. Yes. In Love and Basketball, Monica was wrong for not breaking curfew to stay out with Q. I breaks everything. <laughs> Um, uh, why she break it again? I gotta go. She didn't break it because if she had stayed, she wouldn't be starting. That was the line. So oh. she left. She couldn't stay when he had to talk about his daddy issue. I gotta watch it again. Um, dang. And then, hmm, I would have stayed. I'm a writer. I fucked up. I fuck up all the time. It's around the bench, girl. You ain't need to play that bad. That's horrible. Nah, I'm Monica did not need to play. Did she probably, what well, was it? Like yes, a, she did. She was already riding the bench ish, but she couldn't stay for her. And man. it wasn't like it was a WNBA game. No. So fuck that. I'm riding with my man. I'm riding that man. Yeah, literally. I am gonna let you cue. I'm gonna let you talk to me. Just talk to me, baby. We, we won't talk. Let's figure it out. Nigga, we're not playing the Your body shouldn't have been cheating. And then. And lying. It's not WNBA, nothing. Like, whatever. Like, you wasn't getting drafted or nothing. He had his finest. You wasn't getting drafted or nothing. sneaking them women up in the motel. <laughs> I did. I Shit. Did. I hate when. Uh, I'm still mad at the daddy. No shade. Because he shouldn't have did that to the mother. See or no? Yes. I mean, no. What? No money, no problem. See? See? No money, no problems? Absolutely. You live a different life. What do you want me to tell you? There's nothing to expand about the no money, no problems. It's just life. It's, it's life. It's life. It's the way the universe is set up. You mean it because you said that real quick. Facts. Like... Every time I think I want this much, and when I get here, and it's just, it just, I need more, and, and I'm not a conformist, so more. And you don't think money solves problems? Absolutely, it does, and it does make you happy for the moment. Yes, it gives you comfort, mm -hmm. and it's about the financial freedom you have. It's not an actual. It's not about the money. It's about the financial freedom, the decisions you can make, the people's lives that you can change. Hey, okay, I got one more for you. See <laughs> or not? Nah. Oh, a lo mejor. You should tip when you order takeout. I tip when I order takeout. C, C, C. C, C, C. I was a bartender, waitress, hostess. This C. is my lane. Therefore, yes. you have to look out. I don't care if you wasn't the one that served me, the owner came and dropped off the badge. I'm going to make sure that whoever gets that little bit of percentage is going tip to it. tip it, baby. Tip it. Tip it. Tip these tip folks. It. Tip it. What y'all doing? Yeah, I get offended. Don't order. Cook at home yeah, I, if you don't want to tip. I get offended Stay when home. people don't tip. I get offended. Go shopping. Get your groceries. And do the work. Do the work. Don't be coming to my restaurant or ordering the restaurant. on the motherfucking um, right Uber Eats and Seamless and things and not tipping. I agree. And call the restaurant and tip the people. Don't just tip the people delivering the food. 
tip everybody. God damn. <laughs> I agree. And with that being said, is that the end of Sierra? It's the all? end of Sierra now, and I'm a unicorn. Don't believe the hype. She's as aggressive as I am. A unicorn. So Yuri. Yes, darling. I think that concludes this episode. Oh no, I don't want you to go. I'm at this big age. I know how to take my ass out. Cause you ain't got to go home, but you got to get the hell up out of here. This ass home. <laughs> get my chow. All right, well. I know you, girl. Love you too, guys. Thank you for tuning in. This is At This Big Age. <laughs> Comment, like, subscribe. Let us know what you want to hear from us. Uh, let us know what questions you have, what topics you want us to discuss. Yeah. And so my girl, Danae, finish it up. That's it. She said, uh-uh. And I on month the fucking period. See y'all next time. At this is the gauge, y'all. Good night. Bye. Good day. <laughs> See you soon. Mañana. Ciao. Bye-bye. How you say? Buenas noches. <laughs> Bilingual. Soothing. <laughs>